Okay. So we are at the Ushalaka Ashlade camp. Ay ay ay. Where's Jub? Jub, get rid of these guys for me. All right, let's have a chat. So I'm an Outlander, talk of the Nurring Prophecy. Let's say I fulfill the prophecies and wish to speak to Sul Matul and Nibani Mesa. Wish to speak to them. You do not look like the Nereverine. No, I'm national. I'm a Altner. This is a puzzle I tell you. Go speak with Zab Zabamund in his yurt. He's a Gulakan Sulmatul's champion, and he'll decide what is right. Okay. So let's go chat to Zabamund. It is against our customs that an outlander should speak to an Ashcan or wise woman. Sul Matul has no love for outlanders. Um, let's ask him about thoughtful gifts. We honor this custom with gold. Okay. Let's have a chat about Nerva. So... In ancient days, deep elves and a great host of outlanders from the west came stealing the land of the Dunma. In that time, Nerevar was the great Khan and war leader of the house people, but he honored the ancient spirits and the tribal law and became as one of us, the Ashlanders. So when Nerevar pledged upon his great ring of the ancestors, one clan under moon and star, to honor the ways of the spirits and rights of the land, all the tribes joined the house people fighting a great battle at Red Mountain. Though many Dunmer tribesmen and housemen died at Red Mountain, the Dwemer were defeated and their evil magics destroyed. And the outlanders driven from the land. It's not quite true, but it's fine. But after this great victory, the power hungry Khans of the Great Houses slew Nerevar in secret, set themselves up as gods, and forgot Nerevar's promises to the tribes. But Nerevar will come again and cast down the false gods, and by the power of his ring will make good his promises, honor the spirits, and drive the outsiders from the land. So basically what we're talking about here is um, the Dwemer and the, uh, the, I guess, the, the then Kaima, before they were Dunmer, um, were having a big battle um, at Red Mountain, or a war that culminated in a battle at Red Mountain. And the Dwemer were defeated, um, or probably more accurately, they were removed from existence <laughs> um, all at once, save for one of them. Um, and, and so the, the Dunmer basically won the, the war by default. Um, and when we talk about the false gods, those are the gods of the tribunal who are currently being worshipped as gods in present day, uh, Morrowind, uh, and all three of them are still alive today. So we will, we will, you wouldn't see them at some point. So, Nereva, uh, yep, yeah, so we've done that one. Um, let's talk about the Nereverine prophecies. The Nereverine prophecies are not for outlanders. Why should Sul Matul and Nibani Mesa speak to you about these things? Who are you that we should trust you? And so, go back to the thoughtful gift. Uh, among strangers, we honor this custom with gold. So we'll give him a bribe. A gift of 200 golds. This is an earnest proof of your respect. Yes, I believe you should speak to our Ash Khan. Perhaps he will be angry with me, but I think I can bear that. Go to the Ash Khan's yut. And speak with Sulmatul. Ask him your questions and tell him I have sent you. You flatter me. All right. This is the Ashkens Yut. Sulmatul. It is such an honor to meet you. It is such an honor to meet me. Wow. Don't seem to hate Outlanders. It's nice having this really high uh, personality. Okay. You wish to be tested to see if you are the Nereverine. No Outlander may join the Nereverine cult. If you were a clan friend, an adopted member of the Ashlander tribes, then perhaps. I have an initiation rite in mind. If you pass this rite, I will adopt you as a clan friend of the Ashlanders. And then I will submit you to Nibani Mesa, a wise woman who is skilled in oracles and mysteries, and will test you against the prophecies. So the initiation rites... I must undergo a harrowing. In a harrowing, I will be judged by the spirits and ancestors to see if I'm worthy. 
Go to the Urshalaku burial caverns and fetch me Saul Senapul's bone biter bow. Saul Senapul was my father, and his spirit guardian uh, spirit guards his bone mold longbow deep in the burial caverns. Okay. So bring the bow back to him. South, south, east, a north facing door in a little hill halfway between us and the slopes of Red Mountain. Okay, so it's north facing door, so we should be able to see it from the direction that we go. And it's south, south, east. So that's like there? This is where, um,. I know I said it last episode, but this is where like the, the pants come in real handy. Being able to kind of look around as we're jumping. Is that a cabin there? Looks to be north facing. Urshulaku Astral Burial. Cool. Alright. Let's see what we got. Do -do 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 -do. Get out of my way. What's uh what's what's going on? So one thing that um happens a lot when you <laughs> play this way is uh you tend to miss stuff. So I'm just trying to keep an eye on. Surrounding, see if there's anything that I'm leaving out. Is that a spear? Spear of light. 20 points for 15 seconds on target. Interesting. It's kind of cool. Ah, oh, we levitate. What do we got? Wait. Ow. Punched me. Iron spark cleaver. Okay. So I haven't done this for a very long time. Dead adventurer. Lockpicks, nice, we'll take those. Um, not that we ever actually need lockpicks, we've got kind of no reason for them. No oh, way, rat. Laterous burial. Oh. <laughs> Ignore the stairs. What's this? Juno burial? I don't want to like miss Kakuna. Oh my god, there's so many uh, little chambers. You look at local. Fragile burial, Kakuna, Kefka, Juno, Karma. I don't know which one he's in. coming out of these uh out of these things. Nordic claymore. I guess this isn't the one. Because I would think like the uh, with it being such an important quest item it would be like at an altar. Like that. Drow curious. Holy crap. Get me out of here. What are you floating for? Alright, so that was the Kefka. I would have thought that would be something cool, but it wasn't. That's cool. Glass Greaves? 
These are kind of like the little... The cool little things that you get when you levitate everywhere. Yeah, we got a Juno. Out of my way. Ow. Quit it. Fortify Magicka 10 points. There we go. Wraith of Soul Cinepool. We have a bone by the bow. Quality frost shield. Common soul gem of the scamp. And there's nothing else really of value. Okay. I mean, the thing is, like, we have everything that we already want, so there's no real need for us to actually look for anything, which is kind of a shame. I mean, it's 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 what happens when you play a game like this is that, um, sorry, when you play a game in this manner, not a game like this, but when you play a game in this manner, um, all the kind of things that you find on the map are just kind of generally speaking not really worth it for you to even bother with uh, is that how we came in yeah um so you just kind of end up ignoring them which is kind of a shame because there's so many cool secrets in morrowind that you um end up not even caring about or looking for but that's fine like up here what's, what's this you know what's going on here Oh, there's cool stuff here that you have to be a levitating person to get to. And this is kind of like the real joy of, of playing with alteration, is that you can find all these cool little areas. And there's usually interesting stuff up here. Uh, maybe not in this one. Maybe there is, and I'm just not looking hard enough. But, like, there's no other way to get up here other than levitating, so... It's pretty cool. It's cool to, like, see a 3D game that's built to be played in 3D. Um, like, so many 3D games uh, are essentially all 2D. Like, you've just got... You know, your, your character traverses the world in a 2D manner. Um, and, you know, everything is... Uh, uh, you know, ev everything is... Everything of note is on ground level. And if it's not on ground level, then at least you've got, like, a, you know, platforms that you can jump up. Welcome, friend. I feel as though I should know you. This is my father's bone by the bow. You've completed the initiation rite. I name you Magic Man, clan friend of the Ashlanders. Keep my father's bow and bear it with honor. You are a friend of our tribe and may rest in any Urshalaku bed. But do not harm other tribe members or take their things. And now I will fulfill my other promise. Go to the Wise Woman's Yurt and Nibani Mesa shall examine you and test you against the Reverie Prophecies. So Nibani Mesa. It told me of you. You are hard headed and ignorant. Perhaps it's not your fault. My Lord Ash Khan says you will ask me about the new room prophecies. He says I will test you against them. There are many. 
Aspect and uncertain parents, the moon and star, sleepers, seven curses, the curses bane, the prophecy of the stranger, the prophecy of the seven visions, the lost prophecies. Ask me of these things, if you are patient, if you would be wise, or if you are impatient to know, just ask, do I pass the test? Aspect and uncertain parents, if what you say is true, you are indeed born on a certain day of uncertain parents. This is part of the prophecy, but many have the same birthday, and many are not sure of their parents. It is interesting, but it does not make you their reverie. The moon and star. Legend says Indra or Nerevar's family standard bore the moon and star, and Nerevar's armor and weapons bore the sign. Some say he bore a moon and star birthmark. Some say he has a magic ring marked with a moon and star. Others say he was born under a moon and star. In any case, I think the moon and star is the mark of the Riverine, and you do not have this mark, so you are not the Riverine. Rumors say that in the towns, many cultists called sleepers are attacking people, saying that Dagoth Ur is awakened and you will drive uh, and will drive the Outlanders from Morrowind. Perhaps it is just a coincidence, but I think it is a sign of the Riverine. Not necessarily a sign that you are the Nerevarine. Perhaps the time has come, and you have come at the same time. This is not a passing of the test, but it may mean you have some part to play in the coming of the Nerevarine. Seven Curses, another Ashlander prophecy of the Nerevarine. Seven Curses of the Sharmet. But I do not know it, and I know no one who does. It may be lost. Such things happen. A wise woman dies, or forgets, or a clan is wiped out. Perhaps someone knows, but is keeping it secret. Perhaps it is one of those many books of your settled peoples. I have heard that the dissident priests of the temple may have such books. The Stranger. This is the best known prophecy. We call it the Stranger. When earth is sundered and skies choked black, and sleepers serve the seven curses, to the hearth there comes a stranger, journeyed far neath moon and star. Though Stark born to sire uncertain, his aspect marks his certain fate. Wicked stalk him, righteous curse him, prophets speak but all deny. Many trials make manifest the stranger's fate, the curse's bane. Many touch stones try the stranger, many fall but one remains. Seven Visions The full title of the prophecy is Seven Visions of Seven Trials of the Incarnate. Listen and I will tell you the verses. What he puts his uh, seven trials. What he puts his hand to, that shall be done. What is left undone, that shall be done. First trial. On a certain day, to uncertain parents, incarnate moon and star reborn. Neither blight nor age can harm him. The curse of flesh before him flies. In caverns dark, Zura's eye sees and makes to shine the moon and star. A stranger's voice unites the houses. Three how three halls call him Hortator. A stranger's hand unites the Velothi. Four tribes call him Nerevering. He honors blood of the tribe unmourned. He eats their sin and is reborn. He speaks the law for Veloth's... Oh, sorry. His mercy frees the cursed false gods. Binds the broken, redeems the mad. He speaks the law for Veloth's people. He speaks for their land and names them great. What does this prophecy mean? It tells us who the Nerevarine will be, and the trials he must undergo before he fulfills the destiny. Some parts I understand, some parts I do not. I will answer your questions as best as I can, but I cannot pretend to understand it all. Cool. And the Lost Prophecies. There are Nerevarine prophecies that have been lost, the Seven Curses and others. Some are forgotten, some hidden some deliberately lost. The wise women are the memory of the Velothi people, but it is a faulty memory and we are mortal and our knowledge dies with us. But we hear that the dissident priests of the temple study our referring prophecies and record them in books. Such written words never die. You must go to them and ask for these books and bring what you find to me. Pass the test. You are not the Nerevarine. You are one who may become the Nereverine. It is a puzzle and a hard one. But you have found some of the pieces and you have you may find more. 
Do you choose to be in the Riverine? Then seek the lost prophecies among the descendant priests of the temples, find them and bring them to me, and I will be your guide. And take these copies of the Stranger and the Seven Visions. Think on what I have told you and do what must be done. Cool. Great. So we'll have a chat to May the dissident you priest. Me worthy of your attention. So Oh, uh recall. You have great understanding. Welcome. So what are we to do? I guess we can go back and see if Caius knows more about the dissident priests. Ah, oh, well there we go. <laughs> this sounds like something I should mention to Caius. Maybe he'll know more about the ways to contact the dissident priests. That's cool. I don't know where to begin. It is such an honor to meet you. Pop back to Balmora. An honor to be sure. May you, you find you. you have great understanding. It's all that intelligence I got. Twenty-eight thousand nine hundred and sixteen. It's pretty good. Day, mate. It sounds like you could really be the referee. That's just incredible. But I'll have to get used to the idea. Try to get word to Meramila. Maybe she can find whether the Desperate Priests have any lost prophecies. I have a very tough assignment for you. You're ready. Just in case, I'm going to give you 400 drakes. Okay, they found a sixth a sixth house base. A shrine and a priest named Dagoth Gares. A patrol found a sixth a sixth house base in a cave the locals call Ilunibi. The one trooper who escaped to report has died of corpus. Before he died, the trooper reported fighting with monsters and cultists and something about a powerful sixth house priest called Dagoth Gares. Go talk to Racer Puglia at Fort Bookmoth. She'll have all the details. That's, yeah, Alderan one. Green. Okay. Cool. Um, I need to make a spell. So I, I don't have restore health. That's probably fine. Uh how am I doing for restore health potions? One. What about fortify strength? there and okay we've got a couple that'll help and we've got fortify health as well restore fatigue restore magicka okay yeah we'll Welcome. be all good if you wish to talk it is really no trouble at all Big boom.
So let me put Big Boom on my, uh, on here. Alrighty, let's, let's go. Welcome. So this is going to be a fun one. I could still try to there. Kind of want to run there. Well, I say run, jump. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. Oh, hello. Just gonna rest real quick. Uh, we'll take luck and willpower. I wanna double check that we've got good on everything. Yeah. Gonna chug this fortify strength now. Um, and we'll get this. Uh, take the fortify health. And I'll chuck one of those to store magicas. And one, two. Get loads of willpower. We'll re up on feather. And let's go for. There we are. Amazing. Here we go. <laughs> oh yeah, this'll do. <laughs> this'll do. Uh so Buck Moth should be nearby. So I should be talking to Racer Pulia. Greetings. How do you do? May we talk? And your magic man, Kaios Society sent you, didn't he? he? I'm the one to handle the sixth house base. <sighs> I died soon after, disfigured with corpus, out of his wits and his ravings. He spoke of a cavern on the coast. He called it Ilunibi. It's not on our maps. Try asking locals in Namok. Dagoth Garris slayed the rest of the patrol. He told the trooper he was being spared, so he might tell others that the sleeper awakes and the sixth house has risen. Dagoth Ur is lord and I am his priest. All will be one with him in the flesh. Let's set it. Hot damn. The Narmok is... Oh, it's straight east. Uh, straight west, rather. Cool. So I think we'll probably... Well, we'll get there, and then we'll see. So, nah, Mark. Ilunimi. Heavens. That's what they call the old sea cave up on the north end of the island, right on Kartag Point. Western coast, not far from there. It's a gigantic boulder. Impressive. Wait. These clothes suit you well. Some more, of course, another jumped off on it there. It didn't end well.
Carcass of the Saint. Oh, buddy. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I did, but I regretted it. Okay, so we're going to do Ilunibi, and we'll get to it next episode. So stay tuned.